All right, what's up, my friends? It's dredge time. Let's go. Dredge, 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 and standard. We messed around with this deck a little bit previously in past uh, iterations of this format, and I like it. This is the dredge deck. So, undergrowth, not really one of the mechanics that stood out from um, from the Guilds of Ravnica set. Of course, undergrowth is a mechanic where it just counts the number of creatures in your graveyard and gives you an effect. But we got a few things working in our favor here. Uh, of course, mono blue aggro is very popular at the moment. Won the, won the uh, Mythic Championship. I mean, Pro Tour. I mean, Mythic Championship. And Priest of Forgotten Gods is pretty cool. Turtle Power? You know what? That's a good idea. Let's do that. Audible. I like that card a lot. Put two of these in the board. Uh, take out a Raiders or two and a Chupacabra. And two more Gutter Balls. Look at this. On the fly. Live TV. Here we go. Um, let's cut the lot with Giant. And let's cut... The Brontodon. And then we'll got the Enforcers and take out the something or others. Uh, scavengers. Done. Alright, I like it. Gods are in. So a newer version of the Dredge deck that just got updated right now. And playing a lot of the undergrowth things. There are enablers in Stitcher Supplier and in Glowspore Shaman to put cards in our graveyard. Once cards are in our graveyard, we get to use our undergrowth effects. Um, you know, Foragers, Molder Hulk. One of the coolest things about the deck is the interaction between Molder Hulk and Memorial to Folly, allowing you to loop Molder Hulk. Molder Hulk gets back Memorial. Memorial gets back Molder Hulk, etc., 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 which is pretty awesome. Um, so that's pretty cool. And then we have uh, one Foragers. Also, this allows us to kind of tutor cards out of our deck because we be putting cards in our graveyard and if we have one forwarders in our graveyard we can get it back with our memorial folly so pretty sweet of our raiders is a huge attacker chupacabra kills things midnight reaper really really good in this deck because we're playing all creatures we're going to sacrifice stuff and draw cards um playcraft is really cool too um and then we're trying out the new engine here of priest of forgotten gods and gutter bones so priest of forgotten gods this awesome creature one two for two Tap, sack two creatures, any number of target players, loses two life, sacrifices a creature, you add a black, black, and you draw a card. So, awesome, awesome card. A Harpooner, obviously kind of a main deck card against the Amano Blue decks and other flyers. Um, Gutterbones, great new card, plays phenomenally with Priest because you can buy it back and keep using the mana to buy it back and stuff, which is awesome. Supplier, land or elves, cheap creatures. Um, this deck is all creatures, right? This deck is... Yep. Every card's a creature, so obviously we're pumping up our undergrowth stuff. Cyborg's got some uh, duresses, necrotic wounds against creature decks, freebooters, harpooners, brontodons, extra foragers, extra lot with giant for the super grindy matchups. Dredge. Dredge, dredge, dredge. There we go. Let's do it. Let's see how it goes. Happy we added the Priest of Forgotten Gods. I feel like I thought that's something that I wanted to do, but forgot to do. And we have to do it right on uh, stream here. Live TV coming right at you. Let's do it. One giant seems interesting. Maybe not necessary. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Let's go. Well, we are going to need lands. So, Mulligan. Top Tiller is deck number two today. This is good. I want that. Lenore Elves. Gutter Ball. Possible we have one too many Playcrafter or Midnight Reaper, but those cards are both really, really good. So. Alright, so. Just some Salt Eye. Nothing too fancy here. We get to Priest next turn. Set up for our. Our uh, Glow Spore Shaman, etc., etc. 
attack, they probably don't block. Although if they attack, we, we, we might block. So yeah, we'll just do that. Hostage Shaker is pretty nasty. Hostage Shaker is so good. What a good magic card. <sighs> yeah, I mean, this is just really bad. This is a pretty good draw. This is obviously their pretty good draw on the play here. Lanarov into Jade Light into Hostage Shaker. Uh, we are clearly not getting on the board fast enough. And they have fodder to sacrifice, and this is a, this is a, this is a pretty good pretty good end, unfortunately. We had to cast our priest. Yeah, pretty tough, pretty tough, pretty tough first game here. Yeah, I mean. All right, let's glow spore. Put some cards in the graveyard. Creature, creature, creature. Cool, but not really cool enough. It doesn't really do too much. Can't cast Molder Hulk yet. Um, oh my god! I mean, this is like. Don't think our opponent could have a better end. All right, let's go to the next game. <laughs> what are you gonna do? The liner off on the play hands from Soltai can be pretty pretty tough. Alright, so we're going to want this Lotless Giant, and we're going to want to probably cut the Foragers. I don't think gaining life is super necessary here. Uh, I think this matchup's like kind of fine for us, honestly, but... Um, our opponent is not great, but it seems better than the other options. I mean, Veraska is just a bad magic card, and Necrotic Wound is just not necessary. We already have removal spells in our deck. It's not a creature. Any non-creature you put into the deck is like pretty huge in what it does to uh, making it harder for you to do your, your linear things. Um, I could buy a, a wound or two here maybe because killing hostage taker seems so important. Um, what's up, Tez? Maybe we cut the harpooners, but I'll put in two wounds, I guess. I mean, exiling is not that important. Yeah, you can't. It's really, really hard to put non-creatures in a deck like this because it just makes all your other cards worse. You know, like just like a, it's just a standard synergy deck. You know, you need to have a really good reason to put a non-creature in. Really good reasons are duress against control decks and then necrotic wound against really fast decks. But maybe we'll try two here. This hand's great. Keep this. We're gonna um, and we're gonna gutter bones first. This is not a deck that needs to play uh, lander off on turn one every time, and we can double spell the following turn. <sighs> That's pretty good too, actually. All right, slam jam. Sweet. And yeah, let me just glow spore. Creature, creature, creature. Perfect. Sure. Sure. I, mean, I guess a 4 4 crisis next turn is kind of annoying, but let's, uh, let's slam jam. Discovery to Deadweight and four Creeping Chill. Creeping Chill seems pretty sketch. Alright, say so block. We have uh, even more creatures in our graveyard. This is all fine. We have Mulder Hulk next turn. We got Memorial going too. Yeah, Mulder Hulk costs three now. We got Memorial ready to go. So his hand's obviously much better. Turn three, Vivian Reed. Thankfully, we have a lot of stuff in place. It's not that bad. 
aquatic wound. Uh, all right. I mean, I suppose we get the Molder Hulk here. I can see Plague Mare on the board. I don't think Fine Finality is great. We're never going to Finality, really. Just a double raise dead. Just play more creatures, I think. This is fine. Nature. Yeah, my sideboard's pretty, pretty, could be, you know, other things, too. Wilds are my shield. Bone Dragon's a little much. Bone Dragon, if you activate it, just, like, hurts all of your cards, so I'm not really big on Bone Dragon. Alright, Branch Walker. Cast down. Alright, that's a little annoying, that's fine. So we get to go after Vivian next turn. We have a memorial to buy back Mulder Hulk anyway, so. That was really good. Close to an ideal draw. Maybe six just goes at them, actually. Like they're already at fourteen. Um, they want if they want to defend Vivian, we'll draw at least one card. <clears throat> nah, we 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 play a longer game. This is fun. Like, they'll probably just let Vivian die here, but I think it's fine for us. No, they're going to eat my creature. That's great. Alright. This has Vivian dying anyway, so it seems really stupid. Alright. This is great for me. Kill two of their creatures. Draw a card. Oh god. Why didn't it give me the option to get this back? Why did it just skip through combat? I've seen things that would break someone. Oh they didn't, they didn't lose I'm so stupid, never mind. Vivian took damage. They didn't take damage. I'm dumb. No worries. Now I got a hasty raiders here. Man, our Aver's so good. Alright, so I'm probably gonna play a four four crisis here maybe. Guess they have cast down also. Hmm. I mean, now we're just dead, so... Plague Crafter? That is also good. But we're definitely... We're just going to uh, cast the Raiders. We attack them with the Raiders and the Mulder Hulk and something else. They have a Chump Block. Finish Vivian off. Yeah, this is all great. So we go them. That's 13. This is lethal. And then this is lethal here. So the Krasis has to block one of the larger creatures. Vivian's dead. They're almost dead. And life is good. This deck's sweet. I like this deck. I'll be back. Just like before. Yeah, well, you're welcome to come back this turn, Vivian, because you ain't going to affect this board too much. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, you can gain some life if you'd like to. Right. Um, I think I'm pretty fine just casting Playcrafter here. Remove one of their blockers. 
Draw another card. Put some more cards in the graveyard. Contempt my Molder Hulk. Gutter bones, draw necrotic wound, kill my opponent. Alright, the new wounds obviously ended up being good that game, but the problem is that the wounds are good because our hand work was good. The problem is that the wounds are bad when our hands aren't good, but that was pretty good, so. I'll be back. Yeah, Vivian Terminator. Alright, um. I'm pretty happy standing pat here. Just hope they don't have Lanor Hulf again. The Lanor Hulf on the play hands are pretty tough. Cards like Vivian and Hostage Taker are just like pretty busted when they're turn three and four on the play. We're recording a, a guest appearance on the Ponder Pad, Ponder Podcast uh, tonight. Should be a lot of fun. Ponder Podcast is pretty sweet. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. This hand's not great. There's no enablers. I don't know if we can keep this hand. Oh, not keeping four land three spells feels bad. But and if we just a lot of draws we could have make his hand fine. We should probably just mulligan. Yeah, his hand's too bad. <clears throat> Alright, that's better. Memorial to Folly, yeah, I don't really want that. Oh, I have it again every game. Gutter ball. All right, I'll accept. Yeah, in a deck like this where you have card draw with with uh, with uh, Midnight Reaper and Priest, you're, you're much more much happier just to like take the hand and draw some cards. Man, they really just go nuts in these line elves every game. You got Vivian turn three again. Like, come on now. All right, attack. All right, good. Didn't want to block. Please don't Vivian me again. Alright, thank god. Man, they really... They're playing like 9 Lana Elves. They're playing 4 copies of M19 Lana Elf and 4 copies of Dominaria Lana Elf. Alright, well, we are putting a lot of cards in the graveyard, but... I don't know if that's going to matter that much. How many payoffs at the moment? Them killing our supplier kind of sucks. Um... No. No land on top. Let's play the... Uh, I mean, Gutter Bones and Glow Spore Shaman are at least, like, reasonable attackers, you know? Like, we have seven power in play. Could be worse. Charge! Go! Half your life total. Coming at you. Cast down, sure. Alright, I mean, we just... We supplier... We can't get lucky, because only... See, like, so if this has been a creature, we could possibly cast Mulder Hulk this turn. If we get lucky with supplier, but... Alright, uh, we'll supplier first. Creature, land, land. Glow Spore Shaman. Gutter Ball. Don't want to put a land on top? No. 
Also got a gutter ball in the graveyard. Get Mulder Hulk next turn. Get back a land. Get back gutter ball. It's all fine. No uh, memorials, right? No, not yet. Yes, I'll, I'll update the list after this match. Oh, that's bad. That's a Hydra Crisis. Not good. We're still in okay shape, but... Alright, well, easy Slam Jam. Put in a five. It's been a while, ride Jimbo. Elite! What's up, my friend? Thanks for the resub. Six months, you awesome. Welcome back. Alright, so we get back a Woodland Cemetery. We buy back Gutter Bones. We play Gutter Bones. And try and overrun them with all of our Savannah Lions. How about no second crisis? Branch Walker in the bin. I mean, we have a pretty good attack force. And like something's getting through, so we've got our balls. Just get get a uh, just get a uh, block back. All right, coming in. Reassembling Skeletons is a 1-1 one, one for 2. That is not a playable magic card. Gutter Bones is a, is a, is a Savannah Lion. It's 2-1 one for 1. So the the floor on Gutter Bones is Savannah Lion. Savannah Lion is a playable standard card. Whereas a 1-1 one, one for 2 is not. The Skeleton is very cool. I agree that's a really awesome card. But you would need some serious, serious synergy in your deck to, be, to warrant playing that card in your deck, I think. Alright, so... Like, trust me, I like Reassembling Skeletons. The card's super, super sweet, but... Alright, I mean... That Contempt is pretty bad for us. We're still gutterballing. Uh, but... We may be in trouble. This deck seems pretty bad against White Weenie, yes. Also bad against Mono Red. Goblin Chain Whirler? Seems tough. Alright... Yeah, that's not very good at the moment. Oh yeah, I can't believe I was back. I think we're just dead anyway. I mean, we're not even close to casting Giant. We're dead in two turns, so the Giant doesn't even matter. Alright, I think we're just dead. Alright, that kind of stinks. Maybe could have like waited a turn and try and draw Midnight Reaper before I attacked, but that's fair. That's fair. Too many Lanner Elves, you know? When when Salt is able to go really fast, which they're not usually able to do, things get a little hairy. Like when they have five and six mana on turns three and four, their mid rangey clunkiness goes out the window, which is tough, so it's fine. Sultai Dredge with Narc Amoebas? Eh, that's pretty sketchy. There aren't that many, like, mill effects, you know? Oh, wait, eh. Didn't put the deck up for you. My bad. We'll get it next time. Yeah, it's not gonna work. Alright. Alright, this is fine. That's also good. Yeah, another turn one gutter ball here. Actually, um, yeah, I think it's gutter ball. Turn one gutter ball, turn two supplier, land or turn three playcrafter. Looks like mono blue. No. It's probably the Simic deck. That's probably bad for us. We're pretty quick. I don't know. We'll see.
kind of gross art. It's a s literal severed head. Oh man, I had three lands. No, I had creature land land. Or... Oh boy, they have their really good draw. Ah uh, yeah, this is the Thistemic Nexus deck. This deck just seems so good. Alright, that's not bad. We definitely just priest here. So we'll attack and priest. Really not interacting too much with this deck. I'm gonna counter spell my one two. Well, I mean, that would be good if, uh... I mean, we can do some stuff here. They probably have a counterspell. They're gonna flash back Insight anyway. Maybe we just, like, get they get dirty here. We just, like, Forgotten Gods, sack these two, make a bunch of mana, draw some cards, try and put some stuff in the graveyard, cast Raiders, play character makes them, like, discard a card or two. Yeah, I'll just go for it. We got some booters, yeah. That's some creatures. I mean, Reaper's not bad. I might actually be interested in Reaper plus Playcrafter, honestly. Save the raiders for a better turn. We have more stuff to do. Alright. I was going to do raiders, so that's why I did this pre combat, but now I'm going to do this instead. Sure. Growth Spiral's so good in this deck, it's unreal. Yeah, they seem, seem to have a Sinister Sabotage at the ready. Three, six, seven, eight. They discard a fog. Yeah, we we're in pretty big trouble. Nah, this deck plays plays Sinister Sabotage. The Mystic Snake's just not good, see? So told you. Yeah, I mean we're probably dead. Can I win game one? I mean if I have a fast draw. This deck beats most decks that aren't, you know, mono red or mono white or mono blue in game one. Alright. We get a turn. I mean, they probably have a counter spell, but I think our best chance to win is just to play the, uh, the Haster here and hope it sticks. Alright. That's step one. I'm sure they have a fog because they discarded one, but they don't really have much else going on. They only have th they only have three cards in hand. They have no Ascanta, no, no, um, and they have a Memorial, obviously. Okay, they have a Crisis. No run. Okay, so we're still playing Magic here. Uh. We'll attempt to attack. Growth spiral. This feels desperation y. Two, 
Two fogs already accounted for. Oh, wait. They're 13. This is not lethal. This is fine. Well, now we have this thing, so... Yeah. Couldn't have made a lethal attack anyway. I forgot, that, I forgot they gained a life off the crisis, but... Alright, they draw some guards. I mean, they're dead on board. Here you go. Don't take every turn, please. That's really bad for us. If they have a Nexus, we are dead. Even though they, they, they still have two more cards to draw. Memorial Genius is like so so brilliant in this deck. What a great innovation. Just like keeping your card draw like tucked away in your lands. Which is very, very smart. Can we do it? Can we do it? Probably not. Yeah. Raise your hand in chat if you think Nexus of Fate is stupid. Maybe they'll whiff. They're not gonna whiff. Alright, that's enough for me. Yeah. Alright. So, we are going to bring in our booters and our duresses. We are going to keep a lot of our playcrafter effects because we want to be able to kill their creatures they bring in. Foragers is gone. Uh, Harpooner, they don't bring any flyers. I guess Harpooner can kill a Krasis, but... I think I like two Reapers. You can take out a Molder Hulk, honestly, it's kind of slow. Yeah, I want these Brontodons too. Um, I guess actually a lot with Giants. Nah, it's just too expensive. We're not going to get to 7 mana. Harpooner for creating. I mean, Harpooner is like, is like a reasonably a reasonably fast attacker. Uh, definitely want the Raiders. Maybe Mulder Hulk's too slow. We're also bringing we're also bringing a lot of, like four non-creature spells, which kind of sucks. Makes Mulder Hulk a little slower. Maybe we just kind of stay stay lower to the ground. All right. You just cut all the Reapers, actually. Reaper doesn't do anything. They don't kill my stuff. Sand's pretty good. Really can't complain about this one. Just like pretty good aggro draw, a couple three power creatures, a duress. Is my window open? No, it's, it's the heat against the uh, the curtains. It's my uh, my R and B uh, R and B curtains. All right. Um. So dressing on two takes a possible search for Escanta. But I think I'd rather just play creatures and try and use this to get a fog or something later or a counter spell. Loved all six months of it. I'm a J I M D A B I S M T G boy for life. Thanks, Gaffer. And this is for my old Gaffer. Sure. Interesting. Uh, that's kind of weird. I think we're still just slam attacking and playing creatures. Oh, what's what? Wait, they have to get a syncopate. I'm gonna play this first. I don't know if they play syncopate or not. I'm just gonna cast this. See what they do. Cool. Bin some creatures. Nice. Don't want to put a land on top. No. Don't want to slam jam. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, duh, Grisparo. I'm stupid. 
They can't turn three me. That'd be insane. I mean, I should duress, though. Mm. Priest. Mm. Yeah, I should probably duress a turn earlier. Let's fire it off now. Suggestions for regionals? Make sure you can be graveyard decks. Double fog, double insight. That's kind of shitty. All right. Uh, so their hand just like a bunch of fresh cards. I'm gonna take a fog here and just hopefully we can just kill him over the next few turns. We really are just we're really just slam jamming. So sure. All right, I mean, they're five. They kind of have to fit the fog for the rest of the game, basically. We have Priest draining them out slowly. That's, that's pretty good, too, actually. All right, Slam Jam. Ugh. The, the, them being able to do something else and fog sucks. Rest in peace, main deckable? I don't sound like a crazy. <laughs> like. Alright, we are going to duress. What's our graveyard? Brontodon, Freebooter. We could use the mana from Priest of Forgotten Gods to buy back. We can't cast it though. Yeah, we're a little short on that. Alright, let's just duress them. Insight, Nexus of Fate. Uh, I mean, Nexus isn't even doing anything at the moment. Unless they draw a reclamation, that would be bad. Yeah, I guess we take the Nexus. And then I'm just going to cast this Playcrafter and draw a card and sack some creatures and stuff. Cool. They have card draw spells, and we have multiple lethal creatures. One! You sub before. Welcome back, my friend. Top is bad. Like, the only card they would keep is Reclamation. Guess they've had a fog? Why are they top then? Ooh, all right. Um, all right. Just draw some dresses and run that back, I guess. I can do that again. This hand is bad. Yeah, we're going to five. All right, as far as five card hands go, it's a pretty good one, so. Yes, I'll update the deck list after this match. Gutterball. I think we're in pretty big trouble here. Yeah, cross spirals so good. Uh, we just got arched. That didn't feel good. Um, okay. Well, we are in trouble.
Mill the booters. Yeah, we are in, we're in pretty big trouble here. Fancy cyborg. Oh, they didn't have a land. Okay. Maybe we're back in it. Maybe we're back in it, folks. Let's do stuff. Hit me. Can we get a Hadana's Climb Golgari Raiders meme deck, please? Let go. I'll be opening donation bonus league soon. And you can make me play whatever you want. Thanks to resub, my friend. Welcome back. Seven months. You awesome. Wait, hold on. I just cast this. Alright, yeah, never mind. I got distracted. You. And you too. You sack that. I draw some cards. Let's go. That's a forest. Uh, I mean, we're just casting this Molder Hulk, I guess. It is a 6-6. Six, six. We can get back a land. We can get back this gutter ball. So, like, it's not the worst turn ever, right? They missed another land dropper. We could, we could, we could be doing something, you know? We also have a, a booter in the graveyard. God, they drew a land. It's so sick. Alright, we're dead. Alright. Now it feels like we're dead. We can... That makes two mana. I can't get back my thingy. Alright, let's just attack. Okay. Oh boy. Nothing there. Play gutter ball. They lose two life. We draw a card, make two mana. I can get back. Just get back gutter ball and play it, I guess. I should draw a card too. Or... That's pretty good. We drew a duress. Uh, I'm down with that. Nexus, Nexus, Reclamation, Ooze. If I draw a land, we probably can't win. Um, let me just take the Reclamation here. So they get to go ooze, ooze, toke, like token, token, token. Alright. Yeah. These, these are just explorers. This is actually fine. Are they nexusing over oozing? Why? Just put the ooze in play and then cast nexuses. Nexi. That seems crazy. But they're out of cards. That was pretty good. Alright, they didn't tap their triggers right. That's fine, I guess. Oh, I did, actually, they did. Never mind. I mean, I think we're in pretty big trouble here. I don't think we can beat Biogenic Ooze plus Reclamation. Yeah, like, we're like just one Ooze behind. Maybe we can like rebuy. Hmm. Can I afford to rebuy Playcrafter? 
two, three, buyback. No, we're like two mana short of that. Uh, maybe they block with an ooze? Mulder Hulk attacks? I can edict them twice, but they get to make like four oozes or something next turn. I mean, they're at eight now, so maybe the priest can just get them. All right, we'll just kill a bunch of stuff. Um, I mean, gutter bones is great. Bye bye gutter bones. Recast gutter bones. Priest. Sacrifice these two. They sack another thing. We draw land. Bye bye gutter bones. Play gutter bones. So if we can survive for three turns and have them not just draw infinite cards and kill us, then maybe we can win. That's a lot of ooze. They also have a memorial and the card draw too now. I mean, we're still kind of doing it. Like, the problem is they're just going to, like, nexus us out pretty soon, but let's Mulder Hulk and attack. We can rebuy this to Playcrafter now, so... That was very interesting that they would do that. Now, I get to just kill their ooze. Mill three things, it's nothing. Mill more things. Oh, okay. Um, I mean, now we can buy back, like, a, a freebooter. Just, like, peek their hand. Problem is, like, these cards can't be that important. They're drawing four more cards anyway, but that's probably still what I want to do. I guess I can make Molder Hulk and then do it. No, it'll be tapped. Yeah. Incubation Druid land. Alright. Alright. I mean, we have this Golgari Raiders. I guess they have Incubation Druid. But... They gotta do some work this turn. They gotta do some work this turn. They do have essentially infinite mana. So... They have the two cards they drew there, as well as the Memorial to Genius cards. That's bad. I mean, that that time walk also. Uh, double memorial genius. Oh man, we're in trouble. All right, they draw a nexus here. We're probably dead. Raise your hand, chat. If you hate nexus of fate. I mean, Hulk just doesn't matter. We already have a sick A trample in our hand. Uh, 
Yeah, not very fun. Not very fun. On Silent Ninja, I, I have no idea. Honestly. Uh, we're 0-2 so far, but... I don't know. It's kind of sneaky. We got a booster pack. Who wants to open a booster pack? Raise your hand in chat. Say, cheer me up, booster pack. Raise your hand in chat. I mean, just don't see me open that. Who wants to see the pack open? And I'm going to remind everyone to check out bcwsupplies.com. BCW Supplies have their new gaming line out. The Elite 2 sleeves are out. That's right, 2. This is a little out-of-date out graphic. And um, they're awesome sleeves. S tracks about them. Tracks tell you all about how awesome they are. My new BCW Deck Art Elite 2 sleeves. Check them out for 10% off your order on bcwsupplies.com. Use code JIM10. They got new binders, new deck boxes, all sorts of awesome stuff. Check it out. Booster pack is more gems. There you go. Track says they are amazing in chat. There you go. Testimonials. All right, let's keep dredging. Wait, no, wait, 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 wait. What's up, Jay? Have you going? Now let's keep dredging. Keep on dredging. Keep on dredging. Dredge, 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 dredge. Tracks might have bought three more packs over the weekend. That's great. Playing first. Hope they're playing mono blue. Let's keep. Lenore Elfos. Mogwai's the streamer, right? Ooh, black, white, A. Eh? Supplier is pretty sweet here. Question is, do we harpooner or try and see if they have any flyers in their deck? Eh, not any flyers. Just play stuff. Uh, I'm playing a tapped memorial is kind of nice, but yeah, I'll just get a supplier out there. Mogwai is also a really good band. What's well, Mill? Land, creature, creature. Alright. You're up. Attack. Ooh. A little extra graphics there. That was cool. Y'all see that? Abzan something or other. Midnight Reaper is so good. It is awesome. I love Midnight Reaper. I'm a big fan. I just love creature decks. That like with like a lot of creatures that do stuff. Right, we're gonna leave back this to the supplier to block the bodyguard. Could have angels. Mm -hmm. no. How about hero of precinct one? Alright, we are slam jamming here. I think we're just sending everyone in. We'll lose the Reaper, we'll draw a card, it's fine. Put more creatures in the graveyard, just keep things rolling here. Hulkster cost seven. Let's see if we can get that down a little bit. Yeah, just slam jam. Top remove from the game. Ooh, this is exactly what we want. This block is great for us. I would have happily sacrificed my minor off this draw card. Go away. Jesus. Gutter ball. Alright. So Mulder Hulks is still a little out of range, but it's fine. We're getting there. We're getting there. So removed from game, the, the the season is reset. Every time the ladder season resets, it, it drops you down in rank. So while I was mythic like, you know, a hundred or whatever, they drop you back down to platinum four after you uh level up. This feels like a mortify or something. Uh let's just slam, make him cast their mortify or whatever, and then we'll um play Molder Hulk. We got a memorial in there too, it's pretty sweet. Alright, um, 
Just lead back the one ones. Probably, probably mortify the harpooner. Token blocks the gutter bones, but that's fine. We just slam with everything actually, so we can get the trigger for gutter bones. Yeah, whatever. Trax, new sub. What's your name? Where are you from? Welcome, my friend. So, as expected, we'll at least get one damage through the buyback gutter bones, which is cool. So, creatures die. It's fine. Hmm, now they're thinking about blocking something that's not gutter bones, so we don't get it back. It's also fine. They're taking three. Sweet. Yeah. Supplier. Midnight Reaper, cool. So now Mulder Hulk costs two. This is all pretty fine. Get back another memorial. This up is Marty from uh, Canada, New York. Playing for five years, favorite card is Quarter Calling, favorite deck is Kiki Cord. Angrath, the puppy name. I like it. So I can buy back a Reaper next turn. And uh, just send with the team again, because Reaper's so good. Tez, have a go, my friend. Thanks for hanging out. Tankskis. My opponents have a tank here. I want to remind everyone to hop on over to Twitter and give me a follow at Jim Davis MTG. Up oh, mirror. Follow me, Twitter. Now stuff's happening. Mirror's pretty good. If there's like a convoke spell here, also, I'm not gonna be very happy. Alright. Well, what do we got in here? We got Reaper, Harpooner, Priest. I guess we just Reaper attack. I mean, we are like 3, 6, 7. That's 15. That's a lot. But. Alcohol preference? I can't even cast them, so stupid. I wasn't paying attention. I'm, I'm one short. I'm a moron. Alright, um... I miscounted my, my, my lands. We're probably dead. Decks that go wide are problematic. And it's Chupacabra. Top card was Chupacabra. Yeah, we're super dead. Yeah, alright. Um, yeah, go wide white decks are pretty tough for this deck. And this deck just sucks, unfortunately. <laughs> Seems like it's like, this deck would be really good against like the mono blue decks, but... The go wide white decks are tough. I think Salt Eye seems it feels like it should be okay, but we lost to that too. Um, definitely a Lotless Giant matchup. Um, I mean, like, Necrotic Wound is, like, I guess necessary. The Raiders seem pretty bad because they have all these crappy blockers. It's bringing like two wounds. The priests in Playcraft are also just seem bad. Like if it, if you just if your opponent's going really wide on you, your edict effects aren't very good, um, which kind of sucks. Maybe we'll bring in the the freebooters over the harpooners. I assume they have like history banali and stuff. Let's try this, I guess. Huh. 
<sighs> Ooh, that's that's good. Yeah, that's a great one. Alright, All right, well. I guess we'll just go to four skis. I guess we'll get we got to the next match faster, you know. Gutter ball! What's up, Key? Yeah, we're actually gonna go to our next match. Alright. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? So, Dredge Deck's not impressing so far. Um, feels like the card, uh, Priest of whatever it's called, is like a very good magic card that does not seem very good in the current format. It just seems really bad against decks that are going super wide. It seems quite good against Mono Blue, but. Decks that put a lot of stuff in play, like the Edict isn't. Isn't very good. Yeah, sure. Sounds sweet. I want that to go tap land on one so I can go priest on two and then gutter bones on three. Yeah, I like that better. Priest is just so much better early. Like, now I can edict their first play. They kind of have to, like, bolt my thingy. Oh, what is this? Oh, is this the, this deck again? Alright. Well... I suppose... They're probably gonna growth spiral. A lot of reclamation decks today. You just play all three in attack and set up for next turn with Reaper. Yeah. Like, we have a good turn next turn, you know. We can do a lot of stuff, we can draw some cards. Reaper's great. But they have main deck firing candidate. So all of our stuff is dead. These decks don't usually play main deck candidate. Usually, just like four of the lava core. I mean, uh, the shivin fires and stuff. But that was pretty good. That was pretty good. I'll give them that. Right on time. Right on time. All right, Midnight Reaper, go get him. No, I, I have not played Black White Angel. I think that Lear Dawnbringer is very bad in this format. Check out my article on Friday and Monday on CoolStuffInc.com, and I'll show you why. <laughs> Chemistry's insight. Some cards. No, thank you. Eddie, resell. Welcome back, my friend. Not, not the funnest game Magic you've ever played. Not gonna lie. Not the funnest game. 
main deck Wrath of God into turn five Nib Mizzet. John, resub. Welcome back, my friend. All right, so let's see. We want to get rid of that. And our Edict Effect should be, actually be good here, so Chupacabra can go. Um, we're going to want Duresses and Booters. I want these Harpooners, too, because we can chill on the Plate Grappers a little bit. Um, what are lands are we playing? 10, 22 seems fine. I mean, cut like a land, maybe. Mm. Harpooner, Plague Grafter, Reaper. Kind of Molder Hulk? Molder Hulk's pretty hard for them to kill, actually. Like, the bigger creatures are, are better because they just hurt. I'm not gonna land. I'm not gonna memorial. We're not gonna win this super, super late game. Let's try this. Do, 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 do. Alright. I mean, turn two Reaper's pretty good. My APM warmed up. Okay. Midnight Reaper go. Turn to Lava Coil. No. Growth Spiral. God, Growth Spiral is so good. Alright, um... Yeah, Sarpooner and Priest. No turn three Reclamation, that's good. Alright, it's a candidate we draw four, so it's not that bad. There's a lot of lands. It's a lot of lands, unfortunately. Reclamation, Growth Spiral, Expansion. Alright, so Reclamation. And they're pretty close to just using this as a card draw spell. They should take a picture taking the expansion. They'd have reclamation, nothing to do with it. What's up, harm? Yeah, like, now I just actually draw a million cards and we should draw another land. That's still. Alright. Let's just play crafter. They discard, we draw a card. Wow! Wow. Yeah. Oh, okay. Alright, well. Guess I should have held that play crafter. Realistically, we're not going to beat the, the, like, just kill a creature, draw three or four cards anyway, so I think that playing the play crafter was still correct. But, man, this deck kind of sucks. Um, let's finish out, though. Let's finish strong. We're playing our five matches. Yeah, that was, that was kind of brutal. Uh, Cannonade, turn five, didn't miss it both games. Not too nice. Not too nice. I mean, this hand looks great. If we can't win with this hand. We'll hang him up. We're going to hang him up anyway, but... It's our last match. Alright, so we hit one creature. I, again, I do wish they would leave this card also in your graveyard. Like, right now I look and I see two forests and I don't see the card actually there, but... Ooh. Uh-oh. This could be bad. Hmm. Well... 
I think we're in trouble again. I think his deck is like probably fine in a vacuum, but just like seems pretty bad in the format as it is. Doesn't really interact with, with Reclamation. Doesn't seem good against all the go wide white decks. Just like doesn't seem like it lines up well with the format. Sure. I mean, Mulder Hulk should be pretty good here, obviously. Speak of a devil. Creature, land, creature, okay. Mulder Hulk now cost five. I Maybe mean, I should put, the, should put that land on top so I have Chupacabra. Ooh, what's this? Ah! Alright, well. Alright. I mean, we can double we can double Mulder Hulk now, which is pretty good, so. It could be worse, right? Six six. Get back memorial. I mean, Mulder Hog is great, you know. Alright. It's turn four. Here's two six sixes. Thanks for so efficiently killing all my creatures. We got a Raiders in there too. I mean, I'm gonna choop this chain wheeler and stack. Like, this is 12 damage, you know? Ritual of Soot? No. Uh, Soot is not any good against the red deck. It's a common misconception. Because they only actually have like 16 creatures, and most of them just do for damage anyway. So. Alright, block, shoot us. So, we could rebuy and cast Gutter Bones, but we're not gonna, we're just gonna rebuy it. We're not gonna cast it. We're at 11 with a blocker. We could you definitely just like dive his turn, but. But also has to be aware of like them self dying this turn if we just can kill their blocker and kill them. I mean, they are god. If we we just we, we drew an untapped land, they were dead. That's frustrating. Um, yeah, if we drew an untapped land. We could have bought back Chupacabra, killed their blocker, and killed them, so they made a very aggressive play. Even though we have Memorial and Chupacabra both face up. But they didn't draw land, so we gotta buy back something else. I suppose. Buy back Plague Crafter, it's not enough to do that. Um, also, one short of buying back the, the Raiders. We should have survived for one turn here. Um, nothing is two creatures. Buy back Plague Crafter and then cast it, but that's not great. Um, it's probably like a cheap creature, I guess. I attack, yeah, alright. I guess Priest is actually pretty good. Sure. Alright, I mean, we, we died to a lot of things here, but... Alright, I mean, I guess... Went four and one with S Esper Bugler. We're about we're about to go O five with this uh, this Golgari deck. Uh, 
Of the wounds here, we can cut the Reapers. Playcrafter's pretty bad. At least it trades, it puts a creature in the graveyard. Uh, Brother Knot's fine too, it just blocks everything. Harpooners are pretty awful. I could buy this. Hi, Super Nintendo Chalmers. If you missed the Esper deck, it'll be up on YouTube. Make sure you check that out. Probably up later today. Fortune of this deck also seems pretty good against Mono Blue. We just haven't played against Mono Blue yet. Like, I think this deck is basically... The question is, how good is the card Playcrafter? If Playcrafter is really good right now, this deck is great. Like, if Drake's was popular, this deck would crush Drake's, but Drake stinks, so... Alright, uh... Alright, this is fun. We have our two big creatures here, which are important. No one drop. That's also great. Uh, no, I have no interest in a forest. Sure. That's fantastic for us. Although I think I just screwed up. I should have attacked first and then sacked the three, the three, the three one. So now if they chain whirler me, I feel really stupid. Yeah, that's a mistake. All right, going too fast. So they're never gonna block there. So like killing their creature first doesn't matter. Oh, didn't get punished. That's cool. Ooh, that's a good one. Alright, so we really want to build towards this. Um, so we're going to make the same play as last turn. It's also fine if they block. That's fine, too. Alright, yeah, we just play craft here and just trade. Now we got five in the bin, so Mulder Hall costs four. Rekindling Phoenix. Interesting. Uh, that's kind of shitty for us. We do have the three necrotic wounds, but no way to really get them. Um, unfortunately, and our mana is also pretty awkward, as even if we hit creatures here, we can't cast Mulder Hulk. I don't know if we hit the creatures. I mean, Forgers is eight life. Mulder Hulk's huge. Draw Lamic and Raiders. We're in like okay shape. Phoenix is quite good. Cemetery is kind of nice. Um, we have a forest. We could Mulder Hulk back a land and then play. Yeah, I think we actually. Yeah, we're gonna let's attack. We're gonna Mulder Hulk back a land and then play Crafter and just set up for a huge Forager's next turn. We'll set up for Forager's into Raiders. Now they kill us next turn, whatever. We can't do anything about it anyway, so.
All right, hit two more creatures. So we gain 11 life next turn. So as long as we don't die this turn, which is obviously very possible, we're effectively at eight, now we're effectively at five. So we can easily die here, but I mean, what are we gonna do? Insect Scout. Alright, it's actually not that bad. Um, we slam. They block, we play foragers. Try and set up a raider kill next turn. Gain 11. We're at 16, they're at 13. We have a greater than 11 power haster coming in. We also have lethal on the board. So we should hopefully be able to kill them next turn. Yeah, they could have double blocked. It's fine, I think. Lava runner. I mean, we're dead if they have our removal spell, I suppose. We can't really do anything about it. If they just block the raiders and then shoot something and then we just die to the flyers, but like we can't do anything. So Phoenix also seems very good against us. We have necrotic oozes or whatever, necrotic wounds, but So attack all and hope no removal spell. I can't look. That didn't sound good. That sounds bad too. Oh, I hear fire. Oh, it's a block. We're dead. I heard fire and then a block. And what did they do? Oh, they... They killed their own flyer to make an egg blocker? Wow. The sounds did not match up with the reality. I thought we were dead. That's pretty cool. Sweet. That is uh that is a thing that can happen, I guess. All right. Game 3. Phoenixes does Phoenixes do seem good. Maybe his wounds though. So we'll just try and be a little stingy with our wounds. Let's win a match. Let's win a match. Let's win a match. Let's lose a chain whirler. Let's lose a chain whirler. Let's lose the chain whirler. Uh, Alright, it's fine, I guess. <laughs> I think we need that. Alright. Um doesn't tap anyway. Yeah. I think we just supplier. We're gonna get just destroyed by a a chain whirler, but three lands? That's the worst dredge ever. That's a really good draw. We had some creatures. They have a Steamkin too. Um, I mean, like, 
They have Chain Wheeler. We can't just do. We can't do much. But we can hopefully just hit some creatures off these suppliers and play a big Molder Hulk. So creature, creature, creature. Excellent. All right, your turn. It's like you know. I have no comment on that. That's a long time ago. That's pretty cool. Um. All right, we're kind of doing it. I Maybe mean, all gas in their hand, but it's pretty good. Don't be so negative, Rocco. Rocco. We got Molderhog next turn. We got uh, we got no. Uh... Wow, they sacrificed double forwarders in the bin now. Right. They kill this. They attack. It's it's bad. We have a land. We do have lands. All right, so they have a lightning strike. Do we block with the supplier? I think we do. I think it's likely to just get Chain Lord next turn anyway, so. Alright. I really wish we had a memorial, but. This is fine. Question is, do you play Gutter Ball and Lana Worlds? Let them chain whirler us, maybe? Definitely playing Gutter Ball. Yeah, let me just play it. Can also block Steamkin. Alright, they have the land. That's bad. If they have Chain Whirler, they can't really attack. We still have a 6-6. Six, six. They're not in great shape. We're at 18. We have Forger in the graveyards. Any Memorial is a good draw. Wizards Lightning, us. Okay, so they have a Chain Whirler also. No, they have a Phoenix. Okay. Phoenix is really good. I mean, you do have three necrotic wounds. We've not seen one yet, so there are three floating around in our 37 cards. That's probably not good. Are they playing Thud also? Why would they do this? Well, it looks like we're dead. Let's just get in for six, I guess. I mean, chump block. Yeah, this is funny. I imagine we. Are, I imagine we are dead next turn. But we're dead to chain whirler. I mean, we're dead to basically everything. So we can just sit here and do nothing. We're gonna die in two turns anyway. So we might as well attack and make them try and kill them. Or something. Imagine we're just dead anyway. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, I mean... I guess this deck really, really sucks. Um, doesn't seem to be really good against any of the decks in the format. Just a solid 0-5 against the, the whole spectrum of the format. Um, 
This deck just seems cool in a vacuum, but just bad overall. There's cool stuff happening, but unless Playcrafter is good, this deck just seems bad. Um, we didn't play against, against Mono Blue, which is obviously a good matchup for us, but we just didn't play against it. Um, we're soft to the card Goblin Chain Whirler. We're soft to, to White Weenie decks. We're not great against uh, like Gate decks or Nexus decks. Doesn't seem very good. That's cool, but doesn't seem too exciting, unfortunately. Which stinks, because the deck seems really, really cool. But what are you going to do? What are you going to do? We tried. Without trying, you never know. So throw this one in the garbage and start over again. Our next deck's going to be this deck, which may or may not be good. Radiant Destiny. So YouTube folks, thanks for watching the stream, folks. The stream will continue with this Boros deck. But YouTube folks, if you want to see this, it'll be up on YouTube somewhere, all right? So bye, YouTube. Make sure you sub.